Victorian MP whose image was digitally altered by Channel 9 says the incident highlights the insidious way women are treated. The broadcaster has apologised, blaming Photoshop for automatically changing a picture of Georgie Purcell. Although, interestingly, the software company is now disputing whether that is possible. The Animal Justice Party MP joins us now from Northern Victoria. Georgie, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. What were your first thoughts when you either saw live that altered image of you or alerted to it? Yeah, look, I uh, saw it when I was watching the wrap-up of the day after the government refused to ban duck shooting. And I was really, really shocked to uh, see the image because actually my entire stomach is tattooed and I definitely don't have chiselled abs. So I pulled up the original and put them side by side and noticed that not only had I been given a crop top, uh, but also a boob job as well. And, gee, what, how did that make you feel? Yeah, look, it's quite confronting seeing your own body altered on the nightly news after one of the worst days at work that you have ever had. And, you know, I'm used to the, I guess, the sexist mistreatment of women in politics. My biggest concern is that other young women and girls will see what's happening to me and be scared to enter public life, and that's damaging to democracy. Uh, we mentioned there at the start here that uh, Channel 9, to their credit, were very quick off the box yesterday apologising to you. But at the time, they say uh, humans had nothing to do with it. It was all uh, care of uh, automation and, and Photoshop. But yesterday afternoon, Adobe, the creator of Photoshop, Georgie, I'm sure you've seen this, said any changes made to the image would have been would have required human intervention and approval. And The Age this morning, also owned by Nine Entertainment, is saying a Nine spokesperson confirmed there was human intervention in the decision to use that image, but said no instruction had been given on the tone of the picture. So the plot has thickened, hasn't it? It sure has. And I've accepted Nine's apology because I'm satisfied with every other way in which they've handled it. I'm, I'm not sure I buy the AI excuse, but I'll leave the commentating on that up to the experts. I just hope that lessons are learned from this because it can be very, very damaging to uh, body image for young people, young women. And, you know, it's something that we shouldn't tolerate. And it's something that wouldn't happen to a male politician. Yeah, 100 percent right. And, and when this is the goes into the broader issue of uh, AI and deep fakes. And we've seen the news about Taylor Swift's uh, body being used in reportedly appalling uh, fake porn videos. We're, we're walking down a fairly dangerous and treacherous path, aren't we, in terms of AI, how it's used and how it's used against women? Yeah, that's exactly right. I have deep concerns that AI is moving at a pace that our laws can't keep up with, and I think we need to seriously uh, consider looking at them. In the Victorian Parliament in the last term, we did a lot of work around image-based abuse, uh, image-based exploitation, and that included things like deep fake, like what happened to Taylor Swift. But AI is just moving so quickly, and it's only a matter of time until this becomes more and more common. It is such a huge threat to women in public life. Uh, Georgie, sorry for what you went through. I really appreciate you coming on the show to talk about it this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.